A very good morning to all my dear students. Welcome to Mathematic Class. Students, today we are going to learn new chapter. That is chapter number eleven, algebra. So let's study it. Students, so far. We have learned about numbers and have performed operations on them. The branch of mathematics in which we study numbers and mathematical operations is called arithmetic. In this chapter, we will learn about. another branch of mathematics called algebra algebra is the branch of mathematics dealing with letters numbers and symbols forming mathematical relations in algebra we use numbers along with the letters like a b c x y z etc to represent numbers main features of algebra are the main features of algebra is the use of letters which allow us to write rules and formulas in the general way and one can talk about any number and not just a particular number letters may stand for unknown quantities by learning methods of determining unknown we develop powerful tools for solving puzzles and problems from daily life since letters stand for numbers all operations like addition subtraction multiplication and division can be performed these lead to study of algebraic expressions students you will find algebra interesting and useful algebra is very useful in solving puzzles and many problems from daily life students before we move further let's learn to generalize some patterns let's go back to the class when we learn writing english alphabets using vertical horizontal and slanting lines yo we can use mastics or straws mastics patterns letter number of mastics used letter l number of mastics used to form one l is 2 number of mastics used to form two l's are 4 number of mastics used to form three l's are 6 and so on students we observe that one l is formed 
by using two mistakes. Two ads are formed using four mistakes. Three ads are formed using six mistakes. We list the number of mistakes required to make one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Else, let us tabulate number of mistakes required and number of else formed or made. Number of else formed. Number of mistakes required. Number of else formed is one. Number of mistakes required two. Two else are formed using four mistakes. Three else are formed using Six mistakes. Four L's are formed using eight mistakes. Five L's are formed using ten mistakes. And so on. Students, observe the pattern again. How is the number of mistakes related to the number of L's? One L is formed by using two mistakes. Two L's are formed using four mistakes. Three L's are formed using six mistakes. Thus, we can say that the number of mistakes required equals to 2 into number of S. Students, let us represent the number of S by the letter N. Thus, the general rule for the number of mistakes required for n number of L's equals to 2 multiplied by n or 2n where n is number of letters L and n is a variable. Now using the generalized formula we can find the number of mistakes for any number of L in the given pattern. Let us now look at one more pattern and try to generalize it. Let us find the rule for pattern C formed below. Letter number of mistake used. C. When one C is formed, three mistakes are used. When two C's are formed, six mistakes are used. When three C's are formed, Nine mistakes are used. Let us tabulate the number of mistakes and number of patterns C formed. Number of C is formed. Number of mistakes required to form C. One C is formed by using Three mistakes. Two C's are formed by using six mistakes. Three C's are formed 
by using nine mistake four c's are formed by using twelve mistake five c's are formed by using fifteen mistake and so on from the table we come to know that the number of mistakes required is thrice that is three times the number of c is formed so we can say that number of mistakes required for pattern c is 3 into n or 3n shortly we write m equals to 3n similarly to make f pattern we require four mistakes hence the rule for letter f is m equals to 4n variables in algebra letters are used to represent unknown or unspecified numbers these letters are called variables variables are used with plus or minus sign to indicate the addition or subtraction of unspecified that is unknown numbers the word variable means something that can vary that is change the value of variable is not fixed it can take different values for example in mastic patterns the value of n goes on increasing that is changing as a result of which the required number of mistakes also goes on increasing therefore n is an example of a variable its value is not fixed that is it can take any values 1 2 3 etc we write the rule for the number of mistakes required using the variable n exercise 11.1 find the rule which gives the number of mistakes required to make the following mistake patterns use a variable to write the rule students in this question we have to write the rules for number of mistakes required in order to make the given patterns and we have to use variable while writing the rules students we know that variable means something that can vary that is change and we use letters to represent the unknown numbers these letters are called variables students we will use letter n to show a variable 
so now let us solve question number 1 and write the rule for number of mastics required to form the given patterns a pattern of letter t s to dance look at the pattern t and count the number of mastics used students two mastic are to form letter t thus rule for pattern t is 2 into n or 2 n where n is number of t is formed and n is variable now some b a pattern of letter z students observe letter z and generalize the rule by observing the pattern it becomes clear that three mastics are required to make a letter z thus the rule for pattern z is 3n where n is number of z and n is variable now some c a pattern of letter u number of mastics required to make the pattern u is 3 thus the rule for making pattern u is 3n where n is number of us formed now b a pattern of letter v rule for pattern v is 2n now some e a pattern of letter e five mastics are used to make a letter e thus the rule for pattern e is 5n now some f a pattern of letter s rule for pattern s is 5n now some g a pattern of letter a six mastic are required to make a letter a the rule for letter a is 6 and now question number 2 we already know the rule for the pattern of letters l c and f some of the letters from question 1 give us the same rule as that given by l which are these why does this happen students in this question we have to write the letters which gives us the same rule as that given by letter l students we know that l requires only two mastics so all the letters given in question number 1 only t and v 
are required to match sticks. Thus, we can say that letters T and V give us the same rule as that given by letter L. As they require only two mastics.